Hey, this is Adam from the AM Podcast Network, and you're in my studio for once on a real camera, not my webcam on my computer, which is cool because I'm finally taking YouTube serious. So this is really, I don't know, this is like official video number one, and I'm excited. I love podcasting. I built the AM Podcast Network back in December, and I've been building it ever since. I'm pretty excited to add YouTube to the mix, and why shouldn't I be, right? So the first topic that I, I've been kind of preaching lately is having a website. A lot of people don't really understand the value of having a website, and not only that, but I know there's a lot of people out there that they just, that they're not interested in having the $10 a year for the domain, the five, $10 a month for the, you know, for the web hosting, and then having to learn WordPress or anything. And now, yes, you can go and get one of those like pre-made websites. I can go through GoDaddy one and one I don't, but look, I'm not endorsing any of those companies. I don't know how good they are or anything like that. But I do believe that having a website with your podcast, with the domain name is invaluable. No matter whether you like to or not, it's something you just have to do. If you've been online for, I don't know, at least somewhere in the last 10 years writing or doing something, then you know that content is king. And I'll say it over and over again. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Everybody wants to read, everybody's listening. They want, I mean, right now you're watching YouTube. Content is king. If I didn't have a video out there, you wouldn't even be watching me. But you need to have a website because it's your calling card. And when people, you know, they want to see more, they want to, they want to engage with you. They don't want to just do it like on your YouTube channel. I mean, my God, there's so much more out there on the on the old interwebs than that. So I'm encouraging you to invest in yourself. If you're not willing to invest in yourself, then how can you possibly expect your audience members to do the same? So if you don't have a website, please figure out what you need to do and go get one. It's like, this is like a no-brainer, you just have to do it, trust me. And if you need any help, by all means, let me know and I'll give you a hand. I mean, whatever I can do to help you get started now, God, I know I'm gonna regret this. Like, I'm gonna get like 50,000 you know, comments. Hey Adam, can you build me a website? I, look, I'll try. I will try to give you a hand. I may not be able to build it for you, but if I can give you some information on how to do that, then I'm gonna. Now, I, I contribute a whole bunch right there in the AMP, uh, AMPN or AM Podcast Network, right in our community. I put all kinds of information in there. If there's something that you want specifically, post in there, I'll reply and try to give you a hand. I really think the content is amazing. And if you're on board, everybody else is, being, is gonna be on board with you. So, um, Something that was kind of brought up that I wasn't really familiar with, somebody had mentioned that Stitcher is bringing in just as many visitors as uh, iTunes. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, so I need to get down to the bottom of this and actually see numbers. Now, if you don't know what iTunes is, it's basically a huge podcast directory. It's all done on Apple's website, in their app, and everything else. So it's kind of a big thing for podcasting. and uh, People can subscribe, and, and then they get their new, uh, your new podcasts. Uh, right to their phone or wherever they're they're getting it from. I don't really use iTunes. My shows are in there, but I'm not really an Apple kind of guy. Don't hate me, please. No, no hate marks in the uh, in the comments below. You know, so I think if that's true, I think that's that's kind of important because if iTunes is finally like losing the clout and Stitcher is gaining it. I Man, I could turn the tides for podcasting. So I'm really hoping that is the case. I'd love to see you know something else kind of take over. I think Apple's really been nonchalant over the last uh, several years with it. Uh, it's hard to get them to respond for support, and I don't know. Just really not. I don't feel like there's much you can do. You can just kind of submit your RSS feed and hope for the best. So I don't know if Stitcher's that person coming in. Fantastic. I just want to see more people get listened to and subscribed to. So if Stitcher's the way, then then I love it. So if you've never been over to the AMP Podcast Network, I encourage you to come on over, join, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna try to put out weekly videos, uh, more if I can. Uh, I'm only one person, so I try to do as much as I can. I'm working on the website. I'm definitely doing social media, which I'll talk about in the next video. And I can't wait to engage with everybody, not only in the comments below, 
but also in the community. So if you haven't checked it out, go to ampodcastnetwork.com and I'll see you in the forum. It's really easy to register and I love to engage. So hopefully I'll see you there. If you have a, a podcast you think that would also fit on the network, I'm always looking for more podcasts that wanna come in and kind of benefit from being in the group. I'm doing a lot of stuff all by myself, but I'd love to have a, a full uh, a family of podcasts. And so if you think you're a good fit after reading the the community and checking out what I have to offer on the website, by all means, hit me up and let's see what we can do together. All right. So until next time, make sure podcast and podcast network, and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe.